Hi everyone, uh, just thought I would show you this wonderful tool by Nick Westerman. Uh, this is a uh, spoon carving tool. Not only looks pretty but actually works really well. I made a handle for it. Um, well, the handle is the right size but uh, may not be as thick as I would like but it still works well. If you look on uh, Nick's website, he has another tool called uh, the Twicker Cam, uh, which is used to make uh, balls like hooks or balls and things. And uh, that's often uh, is a slightly larger tool, uh, and it's just a semicircle of a blade, and usually requires a much longer handle. So it's used in with two hands, using one hand uh, as a bit of a fulcrum, and then. Turning with the other hand, much like we're trying here. So I think this tool can also be used in a similar fashion and probably might actually work quite well. Although typically a spoon carving gouge, even in uh, ordinary carving, this type of a cut uh, can prove to be quite useful. Uh, and it produces a really clean cut as well. That's what we're going to try and do. Um, may have to uh, destroy this handle anyway uh, and uh, put the blade in to a much larger handle. One of the things I would like to do as well is have an option wherein we can uh, use the tool in this fashion as a with a small handle, but when needed, just attach. Uh, an extra bit, uh, making it a much longer and larger tool to be used uh, with two hands. So I'm going to have a go at that and see how that works. Because clearly this uh, is a lot more, uh, ergonomically at least, uh, a lot better to work with. So this is maple. Uh, I'm going to try with a piece of beech. This one is a steamed beech and we're going to try and make it uh, cut a blank about maybe 12 inches uh, and I think uh, this part will be about 6 inches. So there, those are the marks for the table saw cuts uh, and the other bit will have to somehow be uh, joined to this uh, as needed uh, to extend the tool. So so first of all, I've prepared a blank. Um, this has got to be a perfect square edge, and that's what I focused on. Uh, and I've kept it slightly larger than I think I would need because I then have the option of uh, playing the shape a little bit. This is about 34, 33 millimeters uh, square. I made some markings over here um, for the moment anyway, where we may need to drill some cross dowels or whatever to see how we can secure this so uh, we'll pick up once I've made the appropriate cuts uh, and uh, we need to start drilling holes etc we'll see how we go so there we are essentially uh, it's now cut I marked the uh, blade end it'll be in the, the top end so what we'll follow this up now is with a six millimeter hole right in the uh, middle from uh, possibly from both ends we'll see how we go usually just drilling one end uh, will create the path and we can use a much longer drill bit which will just follow the path all the way down so we might just do that
So essentially I've uh, completed the hole with a longer auger bit on both, both sides. So now we have a through hole going all the way. Uh, same on the top end as well. So what we need to do next is to drill for the cross towels there and there. The cross towel itself is about 10 millimeters in diameter, so we'll go with a 10 millimeter hole all the way through to the bottom. Cross towel, uh, this takes a six millimeter threaded rod. Like I said, it's about 10 millimeters in diameter, so that'll go in easily. And we can adjust as needed. And the same in the second piece as well. So essentially, uh, we've now got the uh, nuts in and um, there's a threaded rod, six millimeter threaded rod in there. So there you go, it's pretty tight. So in use, we're gonna be using the tool to do that. And the more you do that, the tighter it gets, the more secure it gets. So at this, at this point, uh, it's simply a matter of shaping the handle to suit you. You can use uh, either hand tools or a lathe uh, to do it. I've got a lathe, so I'll go for a lathe.
So you got about five millimeters before that steel comes into play when we're turning. So that's the only thing we need to watch out for. It's quite a long way to go. So that'll only happen once this actually uh, is completely wrong because that's when we would reach this flat and then there's five millimeters after that. So there's a bit of safety before we can get to it. So I'll carry on with this for now. So following a bit of turning, uh, this is what we have, uh, two pieces. I'm just uh, turned it so that when, uh, when it's used on its own, we get a decent enough grip. And for the little finger to ride into that slot, it gives a slightly better grip. And of course all this can be done just with hand tools. Um, and in the spirit of green woodworking, you may not want something like this, uh, which has got a smooth finish, but I've got a lathe and love working on it, so uh, couldn't resist giving it a go. So essentially, now that goes well beyond the retaining nut over there. And even if uh, the hole should not be exactly center, it doesn't really matter very much, um, as we'll see in a bit. See that's not perfectly centered, but it will be. There you go. That's pretty tight as it is. The most interesting thing is uh, this wing nut on the thread over here. Just tightening it a quarter turn will make this extremely rigid. That's all you need to do. And any time you can just carry on, I'm holding it pretty tight over there now, uh, we'll make it very rigid. Anytime you want to just uh, undo the whole thing, just loosen this knot and this thing will come away easy. So back again, while it's straight, you can get it in this position and then shape the whole handle if you like. And then just tighten that wing knot and that's it. So it does look rather neat and smooth which I don't like very much either so I'm going to work on this a little bit more before I eventually glue the blade in just to roughen it up a bit so you get a better grip when you're holding the various bits but for the moment in terms of the shaping I'm quite happy with the way it looks so essentially there we have it um, panels now done I've uh, glued this uh, blade in now with some epoxy. This is the uh, bit that could be used just uh, as it is. I've sanded it by hand and put some dimples in over there with a uh, small drum sander just to improve the grip a little bit and it works pretty well. further back sometimes so it works okay and uh, to extend it that goes in so this bit now can just be screwed in and you can see that the threaded rod just goes beyond that not and the hole itself is pretty loose, so this is about now 6.5 mil hole. Just enlarge it just more than the threaded rod, so that it's really easy to screw in. So there it goes. And you can tighten it until you're happy that the alignment is perfect. And uh, you're nearly there now. See the grains aligned. It looks pretty smooth there. 
And the clever thing now is just to tighten this and tighten this wing nut right at the top and that makes this really secure. Very difficult to now unscrew it just by tightening that bit. As regards how and why that works, uh, I'll leave you guys to work that out. Uh, but it is pretty straightforward. So now, <clears throat> using it with both hands, this hand now working like a fulcrum. You can use it like a twerker pen knife. straightforward. You can also use it that way. really deep hole and use right perpendicular to the work and this part is the cuts are really clean and you get good control of the tool as you're doing it and your hands are nowhere near the blade you're just using the blade itself as a fulcrum and the levering the cut. You can see how deep that hole really is. And the cuts are really smooth as well. And if you just want to do the final cleanup, you can do it ever so gently. I'm just using two or three fingers here to work this. to take it off it is it is quite tight but it'll come away and tighten it just to that bit and then we're ready to go this is really tight now should have no problem just using it from the top as well if you want to and it won't spin on you it's a simple way of doing it it can be used for basically most tools really to try and make a handle like this but the really cool thing is this bit, the wing nut and the tightening of the uh, wing nut over here which fixes the whole thing uh, really strong, almost like a clamp. So uh, let me know what you think, uh, feedback is always appreciated.